Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And I got a request to show how to fold these. These are the envelopes that are in my Santa and Friends paper kit. And someone sent me a message on Etsy and said, I'm having trouble, can you show me how to fold these? So absolutely. I didn't put any lines on here, so I know it can be hard sometimes. So when you print out your kit, You'll have pages with different envelopes, but, but they're all the same shape that look like this. And I'm going to really quick show you guys how to fold them up. So cut them out. And I did put some lines on the back of this one to show you where you're going to be folding. And then I'm going to show you how I normally do it. So right at the corners of the cut marks, you want to take a ruler and I drew a line, so hopefully you can see there's a line here and that's a fold, okay? And there's a line here and that's a fold. And then we're gonna fold again using those little corners. And I didn't score these, I just drew the line. They're gonna come up like this. So, you have a couple of options. One is to make this like a little coin envelope. <clears throat> Sorry, goodness. Coin envelope that looks like this. And it's going to open here. And we will tuck something, a tag or something down in this way. All right, we'll glue it together here in just a minute. Now, another option is you could glue it like this and have it open up this way. So when we do like this poinsettia one or the tree, let's do the Christmas tree, you may that may make a little more sense to you. So again, this one doesn't have the lines on it, but what I do is I just take my ruler and right along this edge, I get something to score with, and I'm gonna use my bone folder, and I just score like that. And I do the same thing for this flap right along that edge. And I'm looking at where those, you know, where, where the little, I don't know what else to call that except the corners that we've cut out. And you really need those when you're doing these score marks. So I just have my ruler lined up straight where the little cut marks are. Anyway, I just hope by doing this, it's making sense for you guys. So those are your four scores. And that makes it easy to fold your flaps over. And this one, because of the, because of the orientation, I'd probably fold that way. Okay, so that means then we need glue. And I would add glue right here and right here on this on this option and fold up and this is now your flap for your envelope isn't that cute it's just a little rectangle simple envelope and then on this one let's do it the coin the coin flap way so i would put my glue right along here fold it over and then along the smaller of the two right here at the bottom, and then have it fold over that way. So you have two options. And we'll do one more just because we're all adult learners and sometimes repetition helps. And, and I said they're all the same size, but it looks like as I'm messing with them, I'm just scoring the two, uh, the, the, the two flaps, and then here's the two, little flaps. I think they are maybe a little different in size. Hmm. I've made this kit so many things and so many beautiful fun things. Go back and watch some of the other videos if you guys have missed them using this paper kit and didn't really notice. And I designed them so that's kind of funny. Okay this one is very folding up very similarly for me. I like it like this. Is the tree this type of envelope I put my glue so again I'll just add glue along these two sides and we have another envelope now this one 
looking at the flaps, it might be a little more similar to the snowman. So anyway, I hope that helps. And I hope you guys are still having fun playing with Santa and friends. And these tags that were on the edges of the ones we cut out, I was just thinking how some of the taller tags would be cute in here. Anyway, you put the little flags, you put them all down in there and then you'd have a little ephemera envelope. Okay, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you sometimes also struggle because I know, especially when I first started working with digital kits, I had I had some trouble. But I think it would have helped if I had given some instructions. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one.